Taste Buds asked home chefs to share some easy delicious dessert recipes, both Chinese and Western, with our viewers. Since we're all spending more time at home these days, we hope you'll find comfort in making and savoring these treats. Last week, two home bakers, Jade and Ellie, each shared their favorite cheesecake recipes. Links to that in the description below. This week, Ellie demystifies the art of mooncake making. It's way easier than you think, so keep watching. In this episode, I'm gonna make a, a Chinese dessert called mung bean mooncake. So let's get right into it. Growing up, I always loved that snack that I used to buy. They have this a cake made from mung bean paste and it's actually a special food souvenir that you can always get from Hunan province where I come from. The mung bean cake or mung bean paste that I used to get when I was small was made from plain mung bean. Though it still tastes good but after I start trying to make that myself I feel like there's a lot more complexity that I can add to it to uh, make it taste even better. For example, I've tried to uh, combine coconut, desiccated coconuts with the mung bean paste. Also, we're gonna make the mung bean cake today with rose water. Now I'm just gonna add this rose tea bags into this just boiled water. And then we can add the sifted beans in here. Turn the heat on and then you're gonna start cooking these beans. The way how you tell if it's ready, you, you, you just see if you can, if it's crushable between your fingers. It's quite hot, be careful. After boiling the beans, you will need to blend the beans just so that it has the smooth consistency. Uh, you can use any um, things that can crush up the beans for you, food processors, blenders. So I added 80 grams of sugar and about 70 grams of oil. And for the oil, you can choose any oil you want, depending on if you want the taste of the oil to be in your paste. For example, if you want a coconut uh, mung bean paste, um, and you want to add coconut oil, but if you, you don't want any special tasting from the oil, then you can add flavorless vegetable oil. The reason for cooking this paste is that you want to get rid of the moisture in here, and you want it to be uh, in a consistency that you can fold them into shapes. Um, and while you're cooking this paste, you have to constantly stir it. Um, if you don't do that, it's, it can burn easily. The way how you mix it, you just keep like, making circles around the middle. Uh, the process can last about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much moisture is actually in your beans, so it can vary. Twenty grams of red bean paste and then I'm going to roll them into a bowl and then you press it down a little bit and don't worry about it crushing because it's going to come together later and then you're going to want to gently squeeze the outside layer toward the middle Kind of just close it up, shape into a bowl. And then I'm gonna place this dough in here, press it down a little bit, push it gently and a bit tighter. And then once you feel a strong resistance coming from the dough, you kind of lift it. And then this is done. Now that I'm gonna take a bite into it and see how it is. You see that I stuck a lot of red bean in it. It's really, really good. I love red bean. And um, red bean is very sweet. But the good thing about homemade this um, outside mung bean is that it's not that sweet. So when you eat these combinations, it's not going to be too sweet of a dessert. That was the recipe for today. And if you would like to know more about other interesting recipes, please comment in the below. And remember to subscribe and bye.